A company developing third-party products for the Nintendo Switch reached out for me, known as s -Fons. Currently, they've developed an adapter that is to be the world's smallest adapter. I don't know if it'll ever be beat, because it does have a motherboard inside of it. You guys know that there are Raspberry Pis out there today that are full-fledged computers that are pretty powerful, so who knows how much smaller this will get in the next few years, but for now, it's very, 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 very tiny. To say the least, this makes the original dock laughable in comparison, but technically you can't put the switch inside of it as it's not that kind of a dock. So this would be a really nice portable solution. s sent this to me along with some extras because my original one had broke, but I did manage to fix it myself. I, I like to tinker with stuff like that. Now, a big thing that has come out from this dock is that there are several YouTubers that are claiming that it is either cheap, a knockoff, off, a ripoff, a clone, and other YouTubers are claiming that's not a big deal, that's not a problem, that those individuals don't understand how capitalism works, that original stuff a lot of the time doesn't exist. And I understand that. If you look at the Nintendo Switch, Nintendo didn't make all those parts, they outsourced many of them, and their engineers just conformed the parts that they got to make it work. So I get that, and I get the arguments. I'll say this right now. If you're trying to find a replacement portable dock, you're gonna pay some amount of cash. Whether it's five or $50 really depends on whether or not you're willing to open up your wallet and spend that amount of money on a portable dock for a Nintendo Switch. I mean, at the end of the day, if you're not using your Nintendo Switch in a portability kind of fashion and an excessive level, you're probably not gonna want a mini portable dock. So if it's more of a home console and a console you keep at your house and you don't really take it anywhere, this product might not be for you. But what do you get with a mini Switch? Switch dock. Well, I'll tell you. This comes with an HDMI out, and this is full HDMI, so you don't have to buy one of those mini HDMI adapters. Of course, you're going to have to provide power to it, but you have the included Nintendo Switch adapter. At least I hope you do. I don't know why someone wouldn't have an adapter like that. It's not like it's the 3DS or something. Um, give me a thumbs up if you get that reference. And uh, it also comes with two USBs and two USB Type C's, and it has an attached ribbon style cable that is flat that extends out about a good three to four inches out and this is where it connects to the nintendo switch and the magic happens right here now because this dock is so small it makes working with the nintendo switch a very easy and good thing to use with it i mean it's it's very nice to say the least that you don't have to carry around a big bulky dock like the big plastic shell that comes with the original nintendo switch and all of these ports do work so basically Basically, you could turn your Nintendo Switch into an aforementioned computer, as I was talking about with an update that allows you to use the keyboard with it. And even though you've always been able to use the keyboard with it, with the new updates that are coming out for the Nintendo Switch, it's making things work a lot easier and smoother. And we might end up getting a little bit better mouse support as well, and a web browser, and YouTube, and Netflix. And so, instead of having to be constrained to a controller, if you had this dock here, you would be able to use a mouse and keyboard in the future and you would be able to web surf with it. Again, I understand understand that this isn't something that most people would do at home, but if you're a college student, if you're out and about and you don't have a laptop and you don't want to use your phone, you could easily use this as a more stable solution. This would be really great for soldiers, people who stay in hotels a lot, and people who are constantly on the move but don't want to be bogged down by laptops or things where you have to use a touchscreen interface like a phone. It's not fun typing out emails on a phone, so if you do ever get web browser support or YouTube or Netflix on the Switch, this would be a great thing to attach a mouse and keyboard to and use it on like a hotel TV or something. So that way you would have a computer and you wouldn't have to separately bring a laptop. But again, it is for very, very light work. So this adapter is mainly used for people who are consistently on the go. And even though it does have an excessive amount of ports for you to use, the USB-Cs are still kind of immature at this point in time in terms of technology. That means 
means a lot of devices don't use it as opposed to the good old USB 3.0. Most devices still work off of a USB 2.0 standard, but nowadays a lot of the top tier technology that is sold in America is up to USB 3.0 as the default. Around the world, you might buy something offline and it might come as a USB 2.0 and it still works with 3.0, but USB-C is pretty rare. Now other people in other videos have tested this dock with a Samsung S8 and say that it also works with that and hey that's fine. One of the biggest points of contention is that because this is a technically cloned board as some people are making the claim, some people are saying that it's very crappy and things of that nature. Well I have to say this, I'm not an engineer. I know a lot about PCs but there's always someone out there that's better than me. I mean there's tech channels out there that are 10 times smarter than I am. So I would say that I know a lot and I'll tell you right now you can't just go off uh, into a store buy a random little dock like this that's compatible with USB-C and expect it to work with the Nintendo Switch. It doesn't work like that exactly. The Nintendo Switch is a unique and interesting product that requires a certain type of dock, certain type of programming, a set pathway, set drivers. Again, it's not a PC. It's a tablet hybrid console. So whatever they give you is pretty much a godsend for that device. And using this miniature dock here, you can kind of say to yourself, well, hey, even though it might be a little bit pricey, it did indeed get programmed and re-engineered to work with the Nintendo Switch. No one's putting a gun to your head and telling you you have to buy this product, and uh, I'm not getting paid to promote it either. They just sent it to me. So with the extras, I'll probably be giving them away. So for anyone in the comment section below, if you would like to try out one of these or you need a mobile dock, let me know. These things are quite expensive if you are uh, comparing it to a video game itself. So it will cost you an arm and a leg to get one of these things if you are kind of in the allowance category and you don't have your own job. I understand that I have a lot of younger viewers and it's hard to convince your parents to buy you something, especially when you don't need it for the product to work. This is a convenience thing and most people who would benefit from it, as I said before, were college students, soldiers, people constantly on the go staying in hotels. A lot of construction workers, pipeline workers who are often going to different areas in my country definitely would benefit from this. So they also sent me over a little display holder kind of um, a dock but it, it's not a dock it, it just allows you to hold your Nintendo Switch on it and this was made so that you could use this dock and eject the cables below it while keeping your Nintendo Switch stood up. Now this has three different places that you can move your Nintendo Switch to change the position and the viewing angles but again if you are outputting it and you have the dock hooked up to it you're going to be outputting the signal to the TV so it's not exactly necessary. Now these guys have several campaigns going on. I believe they um, either had a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo. Uh, this is a crowdsourced, crowdfunded device. Originally, the reasons that there are boards being reused or copied or changed around is because that they don't have mass production in place. That when they get more sales, when they get more contacts, people who are willing to invest in their company, that they'll be able to produce these at a much cheaper price because it this is individual productions that they have done. They literally told me that they hand build a lot of these uh, before they send them out so that this is kind of a situation of a company starting up. It's getting on its feet. So I don't necessarily blame them for having to resource and utilize parts that already exist. Whether or not it's advertised as something unique and original, completely unique and completely original, I don't know. I would challenge anyone out there to try and build a dock themselves without using any, any whatsoever uh, already existing parts. You know, you literally have to create a motherboard from nothing and all the connections from nothing. Go ahead. I, I love to see that. So I'm not necessarily defending them. I don't know how production works necessarily. I'm not, I'm not a manager at a factory. I'm not a manager over at S Fonz. I, I don't do that stuff, but I can tell you right now that I know it is true 
that if you are hand producing products and you don't have a production line, it is going to cost you a lot more to produce these because you're buying a lot less. So the more you're able to purchase, the bigger discount you get. For example, if you buy 100 motherboards, the cost might be at cost. But if you bought 10,000 motherboards, they might give you a 15 to 20% discount, which means you can pass the savings on and still make a greater profit. Now you're starting to see and understand how handmade versus mass production makes a lot more money and helps you to save money. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's about all I have to say about the s -Fons. Mine worked after I repaired it personally, and the other ones that were sent to me work as well. So again, handmade things do happen. This is a very early product, so to say the least that there aren't going to be some hiccups, that's silly. But when I contacted s -Fons, they replied to me very quickly. Customer service was very nice, if you'd like to call it that. The people I was talking to were just very nice to me on the email, and they explained everything to me when I asked them. They didn't try to cover up anything, so I have to say that I, I don't necessarily think that there's any big scandal going on with this device. I'm not promoting this for money. Again, they aren't paying me, they just gave me the product and wanted me to show it to you. So if you want one of these, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll pick out some random people and contact them and try and ship it to them. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to leave me a like, because I really, really enjoy companies sending me stuff to look at and to uh, show to you. So, yeah, you guys have yourselves a great day. I've been your host, Proto Mario, and I'm signing out. As always, good gaming, God bless, and thank you for watching.